I've always been very interested in trying some Korean uh, cosmetics and skincare items. Uh, so I'm really excited to try this. This first one is the Snail Cream. <laughs> I've heard this term like almost 10 years ago, I think. And I was very uh, curious about it. So I'm going to try it out for the first time. Okay. So it's a plastic can with a kind of aluminum top. <laughs> Definitely kind of goopy. I'm going to use baby wipes to wipe off this side. As you guys can see, I have a lot of acne. Um, I think because I was sick, I ended up breaking out a lot everywhere. I think my immune system is <laughs> In shambles okay so I'm just gonna wipe it off a little bit because I did apply a little tiny bit of sunscreen before and it might have kind of whitened my skin a bit okay. <laughs> interesting okay okay so I put way too much I think Probably could have uh, could have done a little bit less. I do feel a little bit of sting, just a tiny bit. I do have sensitive skin though, so there is alcohol in it, and that's what I think is stinging, especially again some of my acne scarring. Probably the first ingredient is snail secretion filtrate, so that's interesting. But they also have the uh, xanthan gum which I believe is the, the thing that makes everything goopy more, more stretchy. It does feel quite nice. Oh, it's been a couple minutes. Um, it's a nice moisturizer. <laughs> it's for day use and I'll definitely use it for daily purposes. And then I'll have to apply on top my sunscreen, of course, to protect my skin, especially since I use a lot of retinol. I do know that this brand is very specific about how they decorate their products. So this is a, a BB cream, cushion BB cream. I've never tried cushion products yet, but I've heard great things about them. So I'm actually extremely excited to try this out and see if this will fit me. Whoa. The packaging is everything you guys. Oh my goodness, let's see up close. So they don't have any description in English, but I'm assuming this is either a refill or a part of um, the item. Okay, now this is beautiful. A really, truly, incredibly intricate packaging. very aesthetically pleasing and again just just a beautiful craft you know putting your time into a beautiful packaging and not just the box but the actual item that you're going to be using I find that very beautiful and interesting and very pleasant it makes you feel like if they have spent their time on designing and crafting a beautiful outside the inside must be of quality and in great beauty as well so let's take a look okay. so this is a cushion is there a mirror so this one also had a mirror So this does have a mirror as well. Inside is another birdie. Beautiful. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to give you a sound of this, okay? Okay. 
it is an early morning too so I am still very much waking up my voice today and I'm still a little bit sick sorry so here is our loaded cushion and when I was purchasing uh, this set I made sure that this was the lightest color they have because I'm pretty pale <laughs> so let's see how the coverage goes on this area of mine okay There's already a deposit there. Okay, I'll try. Okay, not bad. I do also wonder how how well it lasts as far as bacteria goes because it is a cushion and it's continuously wet and I am touching my skin, kind of really pushing it in. I'm assuming I would have to wash this sponge often. Okay, but this is actually really great coverage. Okay, I'm super impressed, you guys. The pores are beautifully covered. It's not very mattifying, which is what I wanted. Okay, so I wanted to see how it does with this section of pores right here. This is actually very wearable. I feel like it's great. Um, it's going to be great for everyday use and everyday wear. I think I think I'm a total believer in now in the cushion. <laughs> this feels like it's a replacement, like a refill for the inside, which I absolutely love because it does look like the black part, the actual cushion part. It's supposed to come out. It looks like it's definitely removable in some way and then you can probably replace it which is very nice so you don't have to throw away your packaging every single time and instead you get refills. How very thoughtful and convenient. What I love about this so far already is that you know how you apply your foundation or BB creams and you have to use a sponge and then you have to keep the sponge somewhere separate from your foundation obviously this makes more sense since it's all in one and it's made for the specific product so love i love this i absolutely love it oh my goodness <laughs> this gave me a beautiful coverage without seeming like it's a very heavy duty um uh, coverage foundation it's actually quite light and very buildable which is what I like to love it so then I found this brand it's called palace identity and this is a pressed powder I believe it's translucent I started peeling it without you guys but I really will do it with you now The box is very velvety, feel like. A silky velvety. Has a little bit of engravement to it. Other sides are very smooth. The front side has a beautiful stamping effect. This is really beautiful. I love the bag a soft baggy okay. okay so we're both seeing this <laughs> amazing beautifully ribbed outside 
white part and then more in-depth engravements around it and then this beautiful lotus like flower in the middle more mirrored look in the back <clears throat> and I absolutely am in love with these charms they come on a lot of their products too I find it to be such a feminine beautiful little effect I don't know it's it's charming <laughs> okay let's open it up I figured it out <laughs> it's a magnetic closure So you don't have to press any buttons. One of my favorite things. Okay. Nicely protected covered area here. Mm -mm -mm. Very nice attention to details, you guys. I loved it so much. Okay. Okay. I can't even see it on the cushion, on the sponge, so let's see. I have applied a little bit too much because it made me very pale and again guys I am still recovering so I don't look my best I apologize but I'm not gonna let it stop me because well because <laughs> okay I should have applied a concealer under the eyes <laughs> but I figured for this video I just wanted to show you some of the parts here so it definitely has created a more mattified look very very white very white okay i might use the powder more sparingly next time and maybe just blot on some spots not all over okay so the last item is this little lipstick and it's um nourishing vitamin c lip oil glow easy so it's a lip stain And the lip gloss okay. and it's in this I do care <laughs> oh, color a rabbit foot type of applicator nice and fuzzy So it goes on like a, a slightly sticky lip gloss. I'm gonna go just under, just over my natural lip line. Since it is a stain. To make it more look more plump. Okay, I'm gonna leave it for just a minute and I'll try dabbing it off to see if it actually stays on the lips later, okay? So it's been about a minute. I'll try dabbing it off. Okay, comes off like this. Okay, definitely keeps coming off a little bit. But I do still see some of it on my lips, which is nice. I actually will leave it on because I do like the color. I feel it's very flattering on me. Quite nice and smooth and soft. And it's not sticky, it's more like, um, feels like you apply it a lot. Of Vaseline, like a lot of 
lip gloss a little bit, but more of a moisturizing effect, not sticky. Not sticky at all, actually quite nice and silky and, and soft. So, absolutely love it. I might get more colors, I'm thinking, because they had two more colors. So at the end, I'd say I 100% will repurchase the, the BB Cream Cushion Foundation. Absolutely loved it. Oh my goodness, love it. Now, the powder, the packaging is beautiful. I feel like it made me very white. Maybe next time I would pick an actual color. I also do not like that the cushion doesn't fit in the um, compact powder. I like to keep it together just kind of like, like the BB uh, cushion here. But it seems like it still stays there, it's just not fully shut. So that's one thing. Um, but again, just looking at the package, it's absolutely beautiful. It would be if you're like in a restaurant with your girlfriends and you just kind of like, oh. I think everybody's jaw will just drop. Because <laughs> it's just so mesmerizing and unforgettable. Again, so I would probably use this. Maybe I'll pick a, um, a shade next time, not so translucent white. Okay. Or maybe I will just use it very sparingly. I might have applied a little too much too. That might be my my, my bad. So the snail cream, um, I liked it. It's just a moisturizer. To me, it felt still a little bit sticky. And there's no SPF. I do sometimes like day lotions to have a little bit of SPF. Even though I apply more on top, I feel like for our California <laughs> sunshine, we have to like double up as much as we can on the UV protection. Lipstick, beautiful lipstick. I love the color, I love how lightweight it is. Mm. It feels quite nice and buttery on the lips. So we definitely repurchase this too. So maybe just the snail cream, I would just have to see how it feels after maybe many weeks and then um, make my decision at that point, okay? So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was interesting. I um, was waiting for a lot of my products to run out so I can buy this stuff together and then uh, not to be wasteful and to showcase it to you and try it out with you and have the first impression with you. So I hope you've enjoyed it as well. I loved it. <laughs> I swear to God, the packaging, I just... It's so mesmerizing. Oh, anyway. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.